Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Savari with Paper Crafting Adventures here in northern Idaho. We um, have gotten so much snow I thought I'd show a little picture of my craft room just about buried. <laughs> it's not stopping me though from having a good time. So today I've created a card that is made from the Birch Press Design Flora Heart. It's a brand new release and this is also a detachable fridge magnet. So the recipient gets it on the card and they can take it off for... Um, for a magnet. And I wanted to show these little wrappers that I keep my cards in because they are so handy. The dogs come into the craft room and they'll shake and they'll be wet and they ruin cards. So I use those for all of my cards and I wanted to show them. So this is a very simple design. I used fog cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and embossed it with an embossing folder and just mounted it onto some silver cardstock, put a little sentiment on the inside, and it's just so simple. These Flora Heart layering sets come in three uh, dies, and you can see here I've cut two out of the top layer. Everything is white except for the top layer is silver, and they just simply stack together, and they create so much dimension that I immediately thought that um, this would be a great fridge magnet, and it's absolutely beautiful on the fridge. So just very simple, I glued all the layers together, and by putting two uh, of the top layer on it just kind of gave it a little bit extra depth there and I love the depth that this has and it really makes that watercolor um, really stand out. So I started off with some Arches hot press paper. It's smooth, um, just watercolor paper and I just started putting in what colors I wanted and that's the neat thing about um, the watercolor is how the colors mix in and any colors could be used. You could make this to um, match somebody's kitchen or as a uh, little valentine to send them or even um, a housewarming gift. Now this idea that I'm sharing here is for making many cards at one time. Uh, an idea that I did for this card, and I actually kind of like this better, is to trace that heart onto some watercolor paper with a pencil. And then I'm using the wet on wet technique here where I get the entire interior of the heart wet. And then I just start dropping in the paint exactly where I want. Now I'll show the um, the larger piece here when it dries but and show what I do with that. But I wanted to also give um, this idea because I kind of like this idea better because you have more control over exactly where you where you want those colors to be. And I wasn't picky, I was just dropping in the colors and you can see me lifting out a color I wished I didn't put down there. Um, but with a dry brush you can, you can also lift color out too as you're water coloring. And you can also kind of uh, use the uh, finished piece as a guide as you're painting it. You can put it over top of it and see where you want more color, where you want less color. And so I used that as a guide. While that was drying, I went ahead and cut out the backing piece for the magnet. And this could be any color of paper. I just had some yellow scrap laying around and it matched. And so I just cut that out. And then I placed the top layer onto the backing just to make sure that none of the yellow was um, showing through um, from, the, from the back sides. And so I just went ahead and trimmed any pieces that were sticking out. Now here's the large watercolor piece, and like I said, this would be great for if you were making uh, a volume, um, many of these together, or if you just wanted to be really particular about exactly which shades you got where, you can kind of move it around and decide. And I have to apologize, that kind of cut off and then it went to this. <laughs> so I guess I'm showing you the card now of how... Um, just kind of how I put that together, but it's basically fog cardstock, um, and I embossed the background. Any embossing folder would work here, um, and it's just a very simple design, but because of the different colors in the back, so many different envelopes can give it a different look. Um, these are some Gina K envelopes, and those are really high quality. I, I ordered them for the first time recently, and I really, really like the Gina K paper and, and the... Um, envelopes. And the card that I showed actually has the um, embellishment heart actually glued onto that, but all you would have to do is just put some removable adhesive on it, um, and it would even stand up a little bit because of the magnets, and we'll get to the magnets here in a second. So anyway, once that heart was done, I just went ahead and cut it out, and uh, the same with the yellow background, I just made sure that there was nothing showing through, and 
you know, because it's a hand tracing around the die, the die is a little bit larger, um, there will be some extra little trimming around the edges. So I have a whole bunch of magnets. Um, these, by far, the Pro Mags, I don't even remember where I got them. I got them online. They are so strong. Um, these magnets that I'm using today came from Home Depot, and they are the um, extra strong magnets. So, you know, when you get a magnet and you put stuff on the fridge, you hate for that magnet to fall down. So I like an extra strong magnet. And they're going to show through the back, and um, I just don't think that's a big deal at all as it's mostly going to be covered up anyway. And I'm putting three on there. Um, you could just do one, but I really do use my magnets and I wanted to be able to put lots of stuff behind it. Next, I just put three little Swarovski crystals in the center of the center band of flowers. This would have looked adorable if there was a crystal in front of, in the middle of every flower, but I thought it would be neat just on that band. And I wanted to apologize, too, that I didn't actually make the entire card, um, you know, today. But it is such a simple card to make. And really, all you need to do is put some removable adhesive back behind where those magnets are going to be. And it will hold. And then put a little note on the inside that um, it's a removable magnet so that um, they know that they can remove it and use it. So final piece of advice here, when you first make this, you're going to want to um, try it out. <laughs> it worked okay in this scenario, but do not put this on a fridge until it is completely dry. If those magnets are so strong that if you do put it on the fridge and that glue is at all um, still wet, when you go to take it off, it will rip off and the magnets will stay on the fridge. If that sounds like it's a voice of experience, it is. <laughs> I've done it. So anyway, I hope you make these. These are such a fun project. Uh, look for other dies that you've got that could that could work well for a little fridge magnet and have fun. I hope you're enjoying your winter and I'll see you again soon.